This is under the heading of what we call simultaneous equations. Simultaneous oh, equations. Now, don't worry about these too much. I want you to actually forget a lot about what you were thinking about if you've met these before. And I just want you to treat this as a fresh idea. And this will take us to the bell. Okay? No need for a heading. I just want you to follow with me. So, in fact, probably pens out of hands is probably best. I just want you to help me think through it. Um, a few books. Okay. We're printing a book. That's what we're doing. Printing a book. The production costs of printing a book are, and then they give you all of these conditions. Help me work this out. Initially, $8,000, right? So before you have printed any books, $8,000 gets charged maybe to rent the factory or to pay licensing fees, whatever it is. $8,000 is where you begin. And then they charge you more and more and more the more books you print. That makes sense. This is just like the situations we've been looking before in linear model. Okay? So help me out. If I print zero books, how much are they going to charge me? Zero Initially, sorry. Initially, eight thousand dollars before you've actually made any books. So I'm going to go eight thousand right there. Okay. When I add my first thousand books, how much does that cost? So it's the eight thousand plus the first three. So eleven thousand. What's next? The next thousand, fourteen. 17, you get the idea. Okay, good. 20, right? Okay. Now we're going to take this and we're going to graph it on top of this line that's already there. Now before we do that, I want you to have a look at what the line means. Interpret it with me, right? This is, for the same production of books, how much income is generated for how many books are sold. You sell zero books, you make no money. Every time you sell an extra book, you make a little bit more. Does that make sense? Now watch what happens when we put these together. Okay, eight thousand dollars, the initial value. That's the vertical intercept. Yeah, vertical intercept. So where's eight thousand dollars? Look carefully at my scale. Yeah. Yeah. This is in thousands of dollars, right? So eight looks like it's going to be there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I can put a few more points onto this. I'm just going to go straight for the end. Okay, four thousand books, which is over here, is going to cost how much? 20,000. So that, if I go up, that's going to be here. Does that look okay? Yeah. Might be off by one or two squares, but I, I think that's pretty close. Okay, now if I put in all the rest of the points, I can join this up. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get this straight line. Be magnetic enough, please. Well, it's supposed to be magnetic, but... Oh, there you go. Okay. Now, look carefully at what we've got here. You've got two straight lines, but they're interacting with each other, right? I want you to imagine what would happen if, just hypothetical, you made, you actually printed no books, right? And therefore you're not going to sell any books. How much money have you lost? $8, You've lost $8,000, right? The blue grass above the red one, okay? Let's think about it if I go up to here, 1,000 books, right? You're going to spend a bit more, but you can sell them so you can make some money, right? Now, without knowing what the number is, how do I work out how much money I've lost? Because I've still lost money. Where is it on this graph? The gap. It's the gap. Very good. You can see... Uh, where's my other color? Uh, this will do. Okay. You can see that $8,000 you told me before, it was this distance right there. Okay. If I move over to 1, this distance, it gets smaller. Right? I'm starting to make back some of my money. Okay. What's this point right here? The graphs overlap. The point where you start earning. Okay, so this means, right, the exact amount of money I spent to make the books is the exact amount of money I've earned by selling them. Okay? This is what we call the break-even point. Okay? Break-even point. It's actually a really important economic term, right? After you pass that, assuming you can sell everything, right? Look at what happens. The cost of production is now less than how much I can actually earn by selling these things, right? So what's happening? I've got a profit now. Hooray! Right? And the more you get, so long as you can actually sell them, the more you can actually earn, okay? As a net income. 